What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. Today we've got another recipe. We're going with the queso taco pasta from the new cookbook, link down below in the description. So we've got two pounds of ground beef. We're using 96.4. You can change up the leanness of your ground beef. If you wanna go with a little bit leaner, um, I don't know if I they make anything leaner than the 96.4. I think that's the least I've ever seen. But you could go, I guess, a little bit fattier, 90.10, 85.15, if you wanna bump those calories up if you're on a bulk. We're gonna need one bell pepper. You could also add an onion, but my dad doesn't love onion, and hopefully he'll be eating some of this recipe later. So we're gonna leave the onion out. We're gonna call that optional, but I will tell you when to add it throughout the recipe. We're gonna need a packet of taco seasoning. You got this guy right here from Kroger. This is just a low sodium one. Doesn't need to be low sodium. Any taco seasoning works. We're gonna have 16 ounces of our shells pasta. Once again, any pasta works. I just found that shells kind of do well in terms of like keeping some of the, we'll call like the cheese concoction in the actual pasta. And we'll go ahead and go with one cup of blended cottage cheese. This is cottage cheese, this is already blended. So what I do when I get the cottage cheese, I just pour it into the blender and blend it right away. So that's already blended cottage cheese that I'll be using in this recipe. Then we need, let's see what else. Um, four tablespoons of reduced fat or low fat cream cheese. We got this guy right here, Philadelphia. Then let's see what else. We need a cup of cheddar cheese. This happens to be reduced fat. Once again, we're washing our calories here. And then we have a little bit of salsa. We'll be adding one cup of salsa and then a little bit of nonstick for cooking. But real quick, so we've got a pot. Once again, a lightly salted pot of water over here that's gonna be boiling. And then we're just gonna go ahead, once that's boiling, put our pasta in there. And then the big thing is you're gonna need a really big bowl because this is gonna be all of our pasta, our ground beef, our cheeses, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully you have a really big bowl. If not, what you go ahead and do is you just half a box of pasta, one pound of ground beef rather than two, and just kind of cut all the ingredients in half and you don't have a giant pot like this. But we're gonna go ahead and put this over medium heat. And then what we need to do, um, it's gonna be really simple. We're gonna cut our bell pepper, we're gonna add our ground beef into here. We're gonna go ahead and cook up our ground beef, and then we're gonna add our taco seasoning, mix that up, and then basically add everything. But I'll show you guys that process, but for now we're gonna put this over medium heat, cut the bell pepper, brown the ground beef, and I'll show you guys when we add the taco seasoning. Now we're our big pot over medium heat, so we're gonna with some non-stick. Then we're gonna throw down our two pounds of ground beef as well as our chopped up bell pepper. This is where you'd also add the chopped up onion if you had it. There we go. One, two, do that. Separate those a little bit so we can get a little bit of browning on each side, maybe. There we go. And then I'll add the bell pepper in now. Once again, I don't think it really matters. Some people will wait, some people will add it later, some people will add it with it. If you are gonna add the onion, definitely add the onion with the ground beef so it kind of cooks and mixes in. But I just add that now. We're gonna let that brown for a little bit and then go ahead and mix it up. And then our pasta water is boiling. We can go ahead and add our pasta in. Once again, this is a uh, 16 ounce, or one pound, 16 ounce box of shells. And then for pasta, just use the box instructions, eight to nine minutes until al dente are done. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave the pasta to cook, the beef to brown, and then We'll combine everything into the big pot. Now we got our taco meat nice and brown, our bell peppers in there. We're gonna add, actually we're gonna turn the heat down first, go to a low or a simmer, add our taco seasoning in there. And then our pasta still has about four minutes left. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a mix, make sure the taco seasoning mix well. Put that on a simmer and basically just gotta wait for the pasta to be done cooking. Add that in the bowl along with all of our cheeses. But yeah, it's coming along nice. Now our pasta is done cooking, so we're gonna go ahead and take that. Luckily, this has uh, this pot has a built-in strainer, so we go ahead and use that. Before we pour all the pasta water out, we're gonna save a little bit, just in case our mixture's a little bit too thick. We're gonna add some pasta water in later. I just save about a cup. I've never used a full cup, but I said better safe than sorry in that regard. Go ahead and drain the rest of that. Watch the steam, it's gonna be hot. Yeah, it's okay, it doesn't get every little, last, every little last bit out. One more turn. All right, that should be good. We'll go ahead and take our pasta now over to our meat. I did go ahead and turn the heat off because between the pasta and the meat, it's gonna be plenty hot. Add that in there. We'll give it one quick little mix and then we'll start to add our cheeses in. We're gonna do this. Also, as far as the ground or the ground beef, you could use chicken, you could use ground chicken, you could use ground turkey, really whatever you want. Um, real, feel free to mix it up as well as the pastas. Once again, 
decently mixed. Okay, so now we're gonna do a couple things. First, we're gonna add the cottage cheese. So once again, we want one cup of cottage cheese, one cup of salsa, one cup of our cheddar cheese, and about four tablespoons of the Philadelphia cream cheese, which I'll measure out here in a second. So as far as this goes, we're gonna just take our measuring cup, pour it into there. That's close enough. Boom. So got that guy. I think there's always a decent amount left, but it is what it is. We'll get to that in a second. We're gonna add our cottage cheese as well. And this, the way I like to do it, is just go ahead and measure it out on a food scale. It'll be about 61 grams. So that's zeroed out. I'm gonna do that. See how much that was. 32 grams, pretty much the exact same amount is needed. 59, 65, close enough. We need 63 or 62. So three grams over, but no big deal. So I'll be left on a spoon anyways. Boom, so we got that guy. Give it a little bit of a mix. And the big thing right now is just we need everything to kind of come up to temperature, especially the cream cheese. Because this be cold, we want it to actually kind of once again, pour, liquefy, I guess you would call it. We got our cheddar cheese. I used one cup yesterday. The bag is two cups in and of itself. So even if it's not exactly one cup, it's gonna be close enough. We'll add that guy in as well. Oh, we got Maisie. We gotta pay the cheese tax. Cheese tax, cheese tax. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, once again, so this is gonna take a little bit of time to mix in. And the last thing we need is our cup of salsa. Once again, whatever salsa you want, this happens to be, what is this, paste, medium salsa? But really, whatever salsa you want. Let's crack that guy. Use our measuring, ooh, that's hot. Use our measuring cup. <laughs> a little bit more than a cup, but that works as well. It's gonna be messy. And we'll go ahead and mix that up. Um, I'll probably just off screen because it takes a little bit of time to mix. And if I do need, if it is a little bit too clumpy, a little bit too thick, I'll have some of that pasta, wa uh, pasta water on the side to add to it. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead, take our time, mix it so we don't spill. We got all the cheese in there, all the pasta. We're gonna get that nice mixed up. All the cheese melted. I'll come back with basically a serving, um, or I guess probably two servings, I'm very hungry right now, but I'll go ahead and make myself a plate. We'll go over the macros. Some cheese, did you get some cheese? <laughs> and here we have our final product. Once again, I did actually not use any of the pasta water. If you think it's a little bit too thick, then you can definitely add some pasta water, but I personally find that kind of perfect. Like I want it very creamy, I want it really cheesy, but if you want a little bit thinner, add some of that pasta water, but for me, didn't end up using any of it, no worries there. Glad we saved it just in case. And as far as the macros go, so um, let me see. So for um, this entire crock pot, let me go ahead and actually pull those numbers up. So if this entire pot, it actually comes out to be 403 grams of carbs, 83 grams of fat, and 314 grams of protein, to be 3,660 calories. So I use MyFitnessPal to track the meals. So, did it zoom in? No. Well, yeah, it did a oh, it did a little bit. Well, I'll pop up on the screen. But basically, um, for the cookbook, I decided to break this down into about eight meals because when I do typical recipes or serving sizes, I want to be around like 500 calories, give or take maybe 100. So this is what I kind of assume is about one eighth. Oh my gosh, can you see Maisie? <laughs> <laughs> she wants some. Um, so as far as how to break this up, so typically, once again, if I was on my own or if I was at our new apartment, I would go ahead and just go ahead and grab. Let's see a bunch of these like Tupperware containers and basically split it up into eight servings, kind of eyeball it. But with it, me being home right now, my dad's gonna eat some, maybe Nick will eat some, Emma might have some, stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them the pot and just eyeball it myself. So one, what we'll call one eighth or one serving, it's to be 450 calories, 10 grams of fat, 50 grams of carbs, and a whopping 40 grams of protein, so very high in protein. Once again, you can substitute in ground turkey or ground chicken, probably get even higher protein, lower calories, since ground beef still does have a little bit of fat in it, but in my opinion, ground beef tastes way better. So that's gonna be the final product. Once again, uh, taco, <laughs> taco, <laughs> queso taco pasta. Once again, you guys probably can't see it, but it's in the cookbook. Once again, link down below in the description to grab that. Once again, it has over 120 recipes. Every recipe you've ever seen on my channel is in that cookbook, plus a bunch more. Super excited about that, but I literally made this probably two weeks ago. What do you think, it was two weeks ago, maybe? No. Maybe no. two? Maybe it was two. Around two weeks ago, but I already was craving it again. This is one of my favorite recipes, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already.
Peace.